but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Hmm, crummy table and wobbly chairs. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh, oh God, that's, what's that smell? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Oh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. That smell smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunt for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops. I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Another one for the landfill. And finally. I hate to say it, but... But the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Ooh, I could turn this thing into a terrarium. Hey, remember Volcano? Ugh. Gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. I didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. 
and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what, I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tessa did what to do with this. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Like Allison. You hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sounds fair? Yes. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Earl Grey or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh. Did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. 
For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. Your call. Keeping it. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Hey, Allison, let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right. Cause I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, oh come on. Humor me. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. You done? You go here.
You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. Bye. 